Hey everybody, it's Paul from Last Level Tech and you are looking at the uh, Microsoft Surface Pro 3 here on the side uh, which I tend to do my general day-to-day -day work and everything else on top of. Uh, you can see a nice picture of my dog there as my desktop. Isn't he lovely? Um, and yeah, beside it you've got an old Apple um, iPad. This is the third generation iPad so this is about three years old now if, if not more than that. This particular device is jailbroken but what I'm going to show you doesn't require you to jailbreak any of your devices and can be used on an iPad or on an iPhone as well. Um, I have used it on an iPhone 6 as well. Um, so let's try something. What I'm going to show you is, well, if I have one screen here and one screen here, why can't I use both screens together? But you say, well, this is Windows and this is iOS, it's never going to work. Well, as of yesterday, I think it was, uh, you can now do that with, uh, with the Windows devices and iOS devices with a little application which is called um, Duet Display. So if I go to the App Store on this particular device and I'll bring up Duet Display, as you can see, this is the old style iPad, so it's a bit slow. And I'll search for it. So D-U-E-T and Display, and it'll be one of the top ones that come up. So if I just focus in the camera here a little bit, we can see <coughs> Duet Display, uh, which is uh, what it is. There is a 40% off discount at the moment uh, for the Windows launch, but you might not get that or not. But I think it was 9 99 in UK um, currency. So um, what it allows you to do is uh, with Windows 7 or 8 support, better performance, new screenshots, but it allows you to use your iPad or iPhone as an extra display. Developed by the team of ex-Apple engineers, the Duet is the first high-performance solution that has zero lag. Let's, uh, let's put that to the, case, to, to the test, I suppose. So yeah, if you go and buy Duet Display, uh, install it onto your iPhone or iPad, your iOS device basically, and you'll get a little icon here, a Duet, which we can run. And it says connect to Mac or PC. On the Mac side or the PC side, sorry, you just go to do duetdisplay.com and you can download the Mac client or the PC client, which we can see here. I'll focus in here on my uh, Surface Pro 3. I've already downloaded the PC client and installed it. Uh, so if I can minimize it, you'll see here I've got Duet Display on my desktop. And when I run it, give it a second, it'll come up with some uh, information about how it's going to connect to the machine. Actually, let's run. Oops. Sorry, I'll run that again. Okay, so Duet settings. Frame rate 60 frames per second. Performance is high power. And you can set your resolutions or whatever you want to do in particular. Uh, so then it wants you to connect to your iPad or iPhone. And what you need to do is you use your cable. So obviously this doesn't go across wireless or anything like that. To maintain the uh, the, the, the lag-free performance that they're touting, they, they, they obviously have to use a cable. So in this instance, I'm going to plug in my USB cable into the side of my Surface Pro here, which we'll see. And we should start to see that it picks up. You'll see it's launching Duet, and there we go. I now have, because I've already done this once already, I have extended my desktop. You might see initially when you first plug it in, you'll get a duplicate desktops. So if I switch it back to that mode, and you'll see it's basically just mirroring what you see on your screen on the left and seeing it on the right. You can see the response is pretty good. You know, it's quite fast. I like what it's doing. Um, but, you know, the screen resolution and stuff like that is going to be dropped on both sides. So why would you want to do that? Because in this particular instance, it's running at 1024 by 768. I don't want to do that because I've got a much higher 2160 by 1440 resolution on the Surface Pro 3. But I want to use it as extra space. So I'm going to say... Uh, from the screen resolution options that I want to extend the display. And you can change any options after that until you've applied it. So give it a second, and there you go. Windows even sees it as a second monitor, generic non-PNP monitor. This maintains its resolution, and this is down to uh, 1024 by 768. I couldn't tell you if the, uh, the newer iPads uh, show up as a higher resolution. They probably do. Um, but uh, yeah, you'll have to kind of check that out as you go along and see what that does. Um, so let's have a look here. What this allows you to do, obviously, is you can do you know what you normally do. So if I, if I'm, for instance, I want to watch a TV show, this particular show, episodes is on BBC iPlayer. Let me just uh, minimise that as the volume, because otherwise I'll get a takedown notice from YouTube. But you can see I can just flick it over from one screen into the other. 
pretty seamlessly and then play it and then keep it playing the sound will obviously come out from the surface pro 3 and i can say minimum or maximize it on that window but i can still do what i need to do on my own uh, little machine here on my surface pro 3 whilst that plays uh, flawlessly really on the other side not really a problem so let's close that one off so similarly obviously you can use it just to browse the web and look at your web pages and you can still use your mouse to move up and down interestingly enough you'll also, you might also notice on the surface on the ipad you've got the taskbar along the bottom here as well that works if i hit my finger on it you can see i can still bring up the start menu and work around the uh, the, the screen on the uh, on windows even through this little duet display screen so i can see the apps on here i can select a different app or i can go back to my desktop and i can still see whatever i want and you know i can select i want to see the news on that particular website whilst at the same time not interacting with what i've got here i can set up a separate you know i could uh let's have a look here i could have a separate set of uh, chrome windows open on this side let's drag this off into a separate instance uh, we'll go back to bbc it's easy enough and i could be touch screening on this side you know the touch screen does still work you know obviously i can go to sport on that side and i can go to news on this side no problem it works on both which is very handy so there you go you can have uh, your media playback on one device whilst the sound is obviously coming out from the central device of the surface pro 3 or your other computer because obviously it supports any windows uh, device uh, as long as it's an x86 processor and you should be able to install the um, the uh, particular piece of software the duet display piece of software and uh, i use it for work kind of stuff i mean i can have um, uh, videos and stuff like that playing on this side whilst i'm maybe you know working off a a virtual machine of some kind and running you know running through a windows 7 or a windows 8 or a windows 10 install or whatever and, and trying to learn what i can do you know i can again i can stick it over on that side and still operate and see what it's doing whilst being having to ha have the the real estate open to me on the other side to be able to do what i need to do so you could use it for your word documents you could have um, anything else opened up and easily split between the two i haven't tried gaming um i don't know how much how well that would perform i must admit um but you know maybe if you if you want to try it give it a shot and see what it's like but i have to say i'm really impressed there are some little bugs you know, sometimes you get some weird kind of frame rating issues you see some little tearing sometimes maybe on one side as it's moving across to the other obviously that has uh, it probably has a, a great deal of difficulty between or a great deal to do with the um the screen resolution changes from one to the other you know 2160 by 1440 on this side to 2024 by 768 on the other but to be fair I, that's a very minor gripe because everything else works very very well uh you know they claim 60 frames per second i can see as i'm scrolling up and down there's sometimes a little bit of a hitch but i'm really really being pedantic if uh, if i'm honest about that um you know everything else is is pretty seamlessly and, and it works pretty seamlessly and you know what you might be doing for running a web page on one side and watching media on the other or vice versa it works really really well so that is, uh, yeah, that's Duet Display, um, as you can see, running on the Windows and iOS device. And uh, hey, if you like it, go check it out, because uh, I think it's, uh, if you want to make use of any extra real estate on your Windows PC, uh, whether it's a laptop, a game machine, a, a desktop, um, a, a, you know, a phablet or whatever else, a tablet, all kind of things, you can you can certainly do so with, uh, with that. I mean, it's a shame you might have to plug in a cable, I guess, but I think that's pretty... Uh, it's not really the end of the world, really, if that's the case, especially if you, it maintains the um, the performance of what you would expect and what you'd hope for. So that's it. Uh, that's Paul from Last Level Tech. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please rate and subscribe. And until next time, I will see you later.